welcome back to the realest channel on youtube and uh yeah man i told you the realest told you i know i be giving off some pessimistic energy sometimes but it's really just the realest energy because we've seen the man's track record dylan dennis has pulled out again now people might think it's quite audacious me sitting here saying that but at the end of the day i've had scraps and i'm boosting so that is of the past bill and dennis today after all the chit and the chatting that's one thing man's never done too much chit and chatting and then withdraw from a fight when you do the talk when you do the hype and even had the audacity to tweet the realest and say about limb to limb and all these things when you're going to be bringing that energy online please fulfill your responsibilities if you, you, you you're just chill and you're just living your life and you get injured and you pull out people go all right cool but not when you're dishing out smoky words and that's what he's been doing this whole build up dishing out smoky words as we've seen him do in the past and then yeah man the the, the reason behind it as well mams sent the video i'm pretty sure dylan dennis is gonna counter right that and say mams is lying or whatever it may be whatever the real reason is if that reason isn't the truth he's still not scrapping and i said it i said it in a video with Timo. i'm rolling cheeky go subscribe i've said it here make sure you subscribe and like because i'm here to give you the facts it wasn't facts at the time but the energy i'm telling you my gut my gut told me that this guy weren't gonna throw this and that's exactly what's happened let's listen to mams because we want to see the video again and um just just hear this out i just want to hear this out real quick so a phone call saying dylan is pulling out of the fight the real reason is uh from what they said to me is that he's underprepared he has no coach he might be right, struggling right, right, with right, weight right 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 so mams is saying that they said this to him i still think somehow these men are going to turn around and say nope that's not what we said that's not the truth but you get me man's not fighting and uh underprepared and have no coach i could have sworn that this donny was sitting down with ariel hawani talking about he don't need a coach for this he doesn't even need a coach because he feels like people are gonna leak his thing and you can't trust no one you need to trust someone villain dance needs to learn to trust someone he's gonna teach him how to fight because that not trusting thing and i'm having no coach because that brother we still ended up here so he was just chatting that and now that is being used as a reason for withdrawal from the contest let's go back in for someone who cares about his reputation as much as he does or what people think of him i i didn't think that this would be something despite many people saying the opposite that look he's not going to show up to the fight and they were right i got a phone call saying mams must have been talking to me because I, a lot of people did say he wasn't going to turn up i was one of them and um i think the team the misfits boxing team they prep for this there's no way you can hear uh all of that and not prep for it and the proof is in the pudding jj will fight phase temper instead of dylan dennis the backside and the only reason i'm hotting him like this is because he thought that he could say some words so now he's a backside and that's my uh word of profanity just in case i get demonetized um so jj versus phase temper this is a good fight for jj i would say the reason why it's a good fight is because he's a tall rangy southpaw um we've seen we haven't seen jj fight a southpaw before we haven't seen jj in there with a southpaw before but i feel like this po opponent does top swarms and Pinedo. uh and um face tempers coming off a good win so we saw slim get to him earlier in the year we see him later in the year bounce back phase temper he lost earlier in the year to slim devastating knockout then goes on to knock someone out later in the year overflow i respect him as a as a man i respect him as a guy i always say this but he is not the level of opponent 
of JJ. I haven't seen JJ in a while, but I know his mentality and I know he's always down to improve and he's always down to be better. And I know for a fact that he is better than Overflow. So as much as uh, Temper managed to get that knockout very rapid in his last fight, it will be interesting to see him against someone who's trying to dish out the smoke. And last time he fought someone who was, he did get knocked out. I predict JJ to not win this fight early. I don't think this will be an early KO. I think he's going to have to work his way inside a bit. Temple will be aware of his power. He'll be aware that he's, you know, he throws. JJ throws fire. So I think it's going to be a feeling out period. JJ trying to get inside of the southpaw stance. But then once he finds his range and lands with one of those right hands, I think he can uh, he can put Temple to sleep. And it's been proven before that it is possible. So it's a good fight. Um, a lot of people talking about the build up to Jake. Is it a good fight in the build up to Jake? Yes, because it's better than the last two opponents. This is a guy that's been hungry and who's been training and who was willing to have an unknown opponent. He was doing the WWE thing. Tempo was doing the WWE. You see one wrestler in the ring and then you're, everyone's waiting for the entrance music. Just waiting to see who runs down the ramp. He was willing to do that. That's bravery and this ain't, this ain't fake. This is real. So for him to be that willing to fight, He's definitely got a grip between his teeth. I expect him to challenge JJ. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting one. It's gonna be an interesting one for sure. Uh, but I do predict JJ to win by KO fifth or sixth round. Maybe as the pace slows down, JJ doesn't really slow down. So um, I'm looking forward to seeing it. And um, it will be a better fight than him fighting the backside, Dylan Dennis. Um, so yeah. January 14th, big fight still happening. The show's still gonna pop off. We're approaching fight week very, very soon. Ruin Wheels are gonna try and be active in the week. And um, I wanna send love to Big Bro and tell him that the job remains the same. A victim is a victim. And you should treat a victim the same, no matter what face they have. So shout out to Big Bro having to be mentally tough once again because of a change of opponent. But um, I have faith in him to do the job. Like and subscribe. My protein. You'll get your discount if you use Vidal on checkout. Don't be a fool. Don't play yourself. And I'll see you in the next video. If you don't know what I do at the end of the video, it is the end of the video. Boop.